Hello and welcome back to another episode of Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our adventure in the Diaries of Death from Hermetheus, the paladin who wants to cleanse the undead. Uh, we are going to do at the beginning a bit of um, Kjolborn Burrow part 4. Since there is a dragon priest at the end of uh, this, we're not going to attempt to kill him. But we are going to try to get one more set of armor before trying to do the Meridian's uh, quest. As uh, she could give us a beautiful undead bane weapon. One that would replace this glass sword. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Good, let's go. Time to kick some undead butt. We've been in here a few times, but every single time something new opens up and it will be exactly like that this time again. Interestingly, for the first time, we have enough magicka to destroy the undead Draugr right there and then. Cyclone would have also been a nice word uh, to learn, but I think Elemental Fury uh, fits uh, the theme of a Retribution Paladin much better. Bring it on. Yeah, we can even take a hit or two. I can still hear someone. Yeah, there we go. Yours, Shouter. Yeah, that was... Clear as daylight. Hermetheus has come a long way. I mean, we're at the point where we can face tank drogers. And where we're starting to see at least some damage. Imagine how much better it becomes over time if we have a real undead Bane weapon uh, and it automatically recharges as we're hitting undeads. Like that would be awesome. That's the reward of the Potema quest for true believers like we are. we go that's that's the new area still gotta be careful uh, don't get trapped in the corner dude Be a bit more respectful towards the stronger. Ah! 
All right, one down, two down, three down. That'll open this. And I want the plate mail, which is exactly what we're doing. I think it was whale whale, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. There we go. That's what we came here for. Asendolt's armor of merciless retri retribution. Love it. Body health. Renders you immune to most paralysis effects. Magicka regenerates 200, 200% faster. I mean, look at this. We got some really decent incoming regeneration. I don't think that we could get much further. Game gives us a resist fire potion, which is a herald of things to come. Even with our shout active. We wouldn't be able to do anything. There's the helmet though. Um... Let me figure out the combination real quick. Good, we were looking at double snake. And a heavily trapped room. But it was all worth it. Asendol's Helm of Visions. Which, as long as we're not uh, wearing any of uh, the dragon uh, priest masks. Where do we have it? Here. Greater magic reserve and we'll lose half as, uh, uh, as much when struck. There we go. Conjuration and rune spells can be cast at greater range. That's important because we want to cast rune spells. Increases magic up by 40 and will allow you to keep focus whilst running. Plus additional restoration. Good. We're definitely not going to tangle uh, with the boss of this dungeon. It's a bit of a futile effort. But we got our entire set of Azendals uh, mm, well working. We look a bit more like a Nordish type character. But yeah, it fits the bill. Paladin of Retribution. Prometheus is done in this dungeon. We're going to get out of it. Uh, Asendal needs to wait for a different day. And now it's time for Meridia's quest. As in Interlude, uh, we just met Panthea, the girl that lost her flute. And boy, boy, she taught us definitely a few tricks. That's like, what, two skill points in every single magic school cool we can level up again for now more health to come heavy armor is not quite at that level i am thinking about going into block for once because we want to use the shields more but restoration is definite would definitely be a helpful option so Healing stamina, great, I like that. 
uh, but expert restoration spells themselves uh, definitely would be good as well. There is another option, heal, heal 4. I've never used that uh, spell yet, but... Uh, because I've never played the restoration focus character in 3BF Tweaks. Normally this uh, skill tree out without uh, 3BF Tweaks would look very different. Uh, but that might be an option for us as well. So just thinking out loud, uh, I guess we're getting expert restoration. And there are a couple of, a couple of uh, good items. Powerful hearing aura on self uh, would be an upgrade. Definitely one. Arcane Ward 4 would be a fantastic upgrade uh, which we could use. Purify Undead uh, 3. Repel Undead to, uh, mm, uh, to let them flee. Funeral Rites 2. Wow, that's a difficult. Uh, it's a difficult uh, selection because almost all of them are good in some case for what we want to do. Banish Daedra too, also not bad if we're hunting Daedras later. That could come in handy. But I think we're going to go with the powerful he healing aura for once. And it's almost the Arcane Ward 4 is too good in order to not do it we do have our racial ability but a level four ward might be quite good illuminating light um, i think was an undead uh, destruction spell i don't know that one as well purification of undeads would that has worked relatively well, I must say. So maybe we're just getting the stronger version. Letting them run away wouldn't be bad either. Hmm. I'm torn. I tell you what, but most of them, I mean, we do have some money left over, so we could purchase one or two of uh, them. I will get Illuminating Light because I think that was a decent spell. Cast Scatters Restorate of Magic, engulfs uh, Malicious Undead and Deidre, revealing their presence for a short duration. Oh, okay, I see. So that's a detection spell. That's not bad. I like it, um, but we will need to be able to cast that spell. Powerful Hearing Aura on ourselves. Definitely same uh, deal. Uh, surrounded by Powerful Aura, restores uh, health and protects from almost uh, all magical drain, which will be helpful against vampires. If empowered, uh, restores uh, four times as fast over 30 seconds, which we don't need, but I would like to get that longer version. We don't have 400 uh, mana as it stands. Thanks, Pythia. I appreciate it. And off we go to Meridian. Just on a further note, since we're anyways here, might as well increase skills shortly. We wanted to get uh, Destruction to 50. So that is on its way. And we wanted to get Heavy Armor further up. Not sure if that's enough for another level up. It barely is. Great. Some more Magicka. Alter, uh, altering between health and Magicka. Which we definitely could use. And uh, with a new perk. I think what we're going to do is combat meditation. To have an option to cast those higher level spells. We're just a few off of uh, the magic nullification. Which is definitely what we would want. Um, and then I think we need to have block. 
and we also need to uh, go deeper into uh, destruction. We haven't even started that yet. Gosh, such a perk heavy build that I came up with. We can now cast powerful healing aura and yeah, that that will be really good. Okay, cool. So off we go to Meridia. Okay, we are at the statue of Meridia. Hear me out. I want to become your humble servant. do it of course you will I have commanded it go now the artifact must be reclaimed and Malcarin destroyed fantastic has forced the door shut but this is my temple and it responds to my decree I will send down a ray of light guide this light my temple and its doors will open. Well, you don't need to tell me twice. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Good. You wouldn't will not need to tell a purifier like Hermetheus twice that uh, you need him to purify the evil. I would even do that without any reward, but I can tell you, reward is much appreciated. Break of Dawn. Isn't that the temple here? Alright, let me figure out why that does not work. Okay, before we are doing a date request, I think it's time to do some more dungeons for level up. I am waiting to finish uh, to get the courier that is going to give us uh, the next iteration of she cried wolf as a quest but that guy has come we need to level up and hopefully then he will be triggered so let's go um as a side mark i finished the white uh, uh file quest which will give us another clutch button i used the uh, health one as i think that is uh, the most appropriate for this character could have used the stamina one but i noticed that 3bf tweaks has patched the ever living hell out of it so it's no longer what it used to be the old requiem uh, vial was really really good but unfortunately with 3BF weeks uh, they found it was too good 
and as such it was um, taken out. Let me check uh, the riddle here real quick. Good, we're going whale, snake, and good old eagle. How the internet has abandoned me. Got a couple of notes. And let's not try to not get hit. Taking the coral claw. And let's get into some action, please. Okay, so that's the way forward. Just double checking, nothing major to loot. And we don't need moss right now. That was not really worth it. But sometimes you win, sometimes you do not win. With the keys. They are pricey, but I like them a lot. Good, we're going Snake Wolf Moth, and that should do it. Oh, come on. Snake Wolf Moth. Oh, that was not the moth. Okay, cool. Well, here we go. Second try. Spectral hounds. Oh, those guys are tough. Wondering which of the swords actually deals more damage. Yeah, I think since they do not have a lot of armor, just a lot of hit points. The elven sword actually deals more damage. Uh, the glass sword. Okay, we need to heal. That's some serious frost damage. Gotta get some stamina back. He's not really hitting hard, but we can't afford to get hit by that shout. Yeah, Frost Breath is dangerous, quite dangerous. 
Luckily we have enough defenses at this point. Orcish Greatsword of Typhoning. 108 points of damage and a bit of magical absorb. That's actually not a bad blade, to be entirely honest. I think we're going to take that with us. And here's the helm of isn't gore which is another nice 30 frost resist just in case we ever need more frost resist i think we're good uh, for now but that was the unique item that i came here for besides of course the other loot Yeah, short and sweet. It's potentially not enough to give us another level. But we can definitely hand in that quest and... Not that one. And I think we'll do another uh, quick dungeon, like Ingor Barrow was okay, uh, decent starter. I think we can do one or two more. Good, next up we have another important uh, task, which is getting our shout to level 3. This, however, will not be easy because we do need to go into Dragon's Crater and guess what? Dragon's Crater is a Dragon's Crater. Oh, because I'm not the Dragonborn we only have four sworn here. Well, that seems convenient. Because I can tell you, yes, they do have poison. But I am, relatively speaking, resistant towards them. Easy. Much easier than expected. Big fat soul gem. And now I only need to pay the 5,000 in order to learn that. We're currently at 9,000 gold, so should not be a problem. Remarkable poison. We're going to take that with us. Okay, well, that was easier than expected. Speaking about which, I think... Besides not fighting a dragon yet, it would be absolutely cool if we were to, uh, were to do a few more Forsworn. But it just doesn't fit the character so well. I Personally, I would love to test out how well we can resist their poison, fully buffed. But given that we're not really a Forsworn hunter, but an undead hunter, that might not be it. Um, I'll look for another dungeon that we can do. 
already got quite a bit of experience one more and i think we'll good will be good good we find ourselves in front of yet another great dungeon this time we're going to Vorund. besides being part of a hideout for the dark brotherhood it's actually a decent dungeon where we could get H of the uh, sword of silenced tongues. Yeah, nice try, buddy. But you're not going to fool anyone. Yeah, the new attack routine works marvelous. This guy is being taken care of. Fast kill there. Crowd controlling him and moving through both of them. All right, cool. Definitely should start uh, scaling block because then it would make sense. To block instead of just waiting for them to hit us. Good, we don't need any magical regeneration. Funeral rites is great, but we got really quick magical regeneration now. Right, bring it on buddy what the fuck are you doing what was that he ran by me and just kept on going run forest run is what his mother used to say Good. there we got the ceremonial axe I said a one hand increase and off we go back these guys have a little bit less experience on them than I would be expecting, to be honest. Maybe we just got unlucky with the rolls, who knows. Fantastic, buddy. Really good job. Okay, so I think it's fair to say normal droggers are okay, but we're definitely having the upper hand here. So 
stamina, re stamina regeneration is better, but still not perfect. Look at you. I like it. If we were to overcast uh, them, they would potentially hurt even more. So, anti from an anti undead perspective, we could even skill further into restoration. Alright, bring it on. <laughs> Not a single hit. Yeah, with the crowd control, that works really well. There we go, ceremonial sword. Time to go a little bit deeper. Already hearing the wall yep there he is the boss Nice. Crown of Tongue. This one is what I was really here for. Absorb Stamina Eduge. And uh, wield it together with Oaken. By the way, I should have potentially did that here uh, with Ron the Snake. Much more manageable dungeon instead of going for the other blade. But yeah, hindsight is 2020, right? That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Yeah, I could use that. No, that's not bad at all. I mean... The starters. Let's read this. A little bit of a one-hand increase. Cool. So, in terms of damage, 109, uh, Ghostblade clearly is great against heavy armor targets. Same damage as the Glass Sword, but clearly not the Silvery property. 
but it absorbs stamina and that might be a solution short term doesn't weight as much as the silver weighted sword so I'm wondering uh, just as a test how that would fare and we can test it out so hits for 500 overall now the direct comparison it's even harder than the glass sword yeah I think we got a winner I mean currently we can't refill it but wait until it is refillable uh, via undeads then I can uh, start chain attacking without losing stamina and Oaken isn't bad either I mean health absorption that's well, pretty damn good Okay, I need to organize the inventory and that's a good point for an end of an episode I suppose let's do some leveling and call it a day so for starters we wanted to do heavy armor to 75 which we barely can make gives us a level up as well we wanted a few more levels, easy levels, so we're going to skill the remaining low hanging fruits. Let's get smithing up. We might need that in the future for tempering, who knows. It's not important right now. Good, we will get one perk. Generally speaking, there are a couple of options here. Healing restore stamina would be an immediate uh, solution for our stamina problem. Alteration into magic resistance, not yet. Need to get a bit more. Um, extra magic resistance here. That would be super good for the Potima questline. This here would be great for further stamina re uh, regeneration. Or we're starting to bite the bullet and are just going with block. In terms of DPS, the only real way of increasing this here would be powerful strikes and we need more DPS against certain encounters so the answer is all of that is necessary the question is what's the right order healing restore stamina is incredibly strong I've uh, played with that in the past in normal requiem Mysticism is good for what we're trying to do or undeads. This here would be good as well. 75, uh, that extra super efficient healing. But I feel healing is okay at the moment. Like it's not incredibly good, but also not incredibly bad. We definitely would want to get blocking. So that sooner or later becomes a thing. Um, the question is... So magic resist, that's good. This one here is good for stamina. There's two perks. The heal to stamina is another decent uh, perk. 
that's already three uh, three perks I don't know if the heal to stamina will like solve all of the issues maybe it does maybe it doesn't being able to just heal stamina back up with our mana regeneration that might already be like a good option uh, this perk here would get, uh, grant us 45% um, stamina uh, regeneration and much less heavy armor con uh, contribution like the effective mass is incredibly important and the last perk is fantastic because it uh, prevents you from being pushed away ever like no more shouts that affect you magic nullification that's a straight up uh, 15 percent magic resist uh, which would bring us to over 50. that's a good break that's a really good breakpoint it's hard to argue not to take that because 50 is often a breakpoint for not getting frozen etc etc uh, at the same time the stamina uh, topic definitely is a prevailing one but I think we're going to go with uh, magic nullification just because uh, magic resist continuous magic resist that is uh, remains such an important item if we ever get that shield of solitude uh, then that would be another I think 20-25 magic resist which would bring us just to cap uh, it's actually not bad considering this With Mage Armor, we are already at 60. Which kind of begs the question, do we need to even go into the Alteration Tree? Typically no one who kind of reassigns perks, but theoretically what one could do is... One could use, get rid of those uh, three perks here. I perked it because I wanted magic resistance, but as it stands, the heavy armor 15 MR is already pretty, uh, pretty damn good. We do got magic resistance from uh, our standing stone, so that's on top of it as well. And we got some magic, re uh, some magic resist from leveling. So, if the shield of solitude uh, comes in. I potentially take those uh, three in alteration and move them to destruction so that we do have more uh, DPS. Um, fits the character a bit better. Alteration is something that is incredibly valuable for someone who's not wearing armor because you get a lot of mileage out of uh, the image armor spell, but you need to focus on it. And instead of perking here, we have essentially perk into this tree quite heavily. So might not want to do that redundancy um, from a character perspective one-handed uh, still could be better uh, so in in a, a way of we could uh, skill into power uh, powerful strike and sword focus so moving that to 75 would uh, certainly be helpful because that quite significantly increases the dps that we're doing this here would be straight up 110% uh, DPS instead and much more chance uh, for a knockdown. So um, since that's our main form of damage outside of destruction magic, might as well want to do that. So thinking about the character more, I believe the right way to go about it is actually drop alteration, uh, put the per points into destruction. We could with three points into con uh, into destruction we could go into novice uh, destruction and say what's our lowest elemental stat uh, that would currently be shock or frost actually uh, since we are good against undeads might as well might as well uh, mm, skill into frost as a uh, as a damage type or lightning as a damage type both uh, would work and offer quite sizable upgrades so if, if i could um, in the next episode get this one here to 50 
then reassigning the perks uh, we would get like normal apprentice and add up destruction out of it that's a lot of mileage uh, specifically with uh, the runes if we then learn rune mastery we could we could definitely uh, deal quite a bit of damage with uh, the runes that's like what we can have three active runes and if we let enemies run into them uh, that's a lot of uh, damage they even hit hard when you do not over need to overcast it so in other words with three four five six seven eight uh, talents maybe nine you can have a quite powerful destruction cast then in the end game uh, restoration definitely could use some uh, some more talents and I would say in the meantime before shifting over to destruction what could actually be beneficial is uh, going for block as well so that's the uh, that's the thought process around uh, the character I'll take a look and see if it uh, makes sense to reassign uh, the uh, mm, the talents potentially not at uh, this point but we'll uh, we'll see um, and then I would say Hermetheus uh, says goodbye if you're a big uh, fan of uh, Gish characters so melee characters or battle mages as they are called um, then leave a thumbs up uh, for this video and uh, see you hopefully in the next episode where we hopefully can tackle the wolf queen bye bye